Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is a quick update uh, going for my Jassic 45 cut, going for my first video. Now, basically, I purchased another welder and I, and I wanted another modification from them to do on my welder. So, quite nicely, Jassic invited me down um, to just see what it's all about there and obviously question and answers. So, I've got a bit more truth behind this Jassic 45 because at the moment, when I purchased mine, the ma the manual was com was completely wrong. Now, to be fair to Jassic, they do they do kind of listen to individual guys, not just like multi million pound companies who just want thousands and thousands of welders. I mean, I I purchased quite a bit the, a kit off Jassic, um, but I'm still independent guy, man in the shed, mess around. But they do take on board of what I've said, and nicely they invited me down to see basically how it works down there. Um, obviously from, from these YouTube channels. So the update is, is when I obviously purchased mine, the manual stated that it was CNC ready. Now, straight away, I, I battled with that uh, a few years ago and went, nope, this is it in the manual. Yeah, it, it's not right. Hence, that's why the guy sent me the board. Obviously, I had to pay for the board. May, maybe not as much as what you should have paid, but I did kind of have a bit of a bit of a moan about it. But obviously since then, which I've had a look at most of the manuals, the kind of getting the red in gear and the manuals are a host of, they're all different now. They're all pretty much a lot, lot better because the manuals before were, were, were just really, really poor. Um, now the manual states now, they've obviously removed that, which quite rightly so. They've listened to what people said and obviously took it on board. But these two connections here that I, obviously I went through th through my first video, uh, obviously they're not standard yeah they're, they're missing now what they're saying is is technically the unit is CNC ready but if any of you out there want these two connections it must be ordered um, from obviously whoever you order it from so if you want this plasma cutter and you want the extra torch high control uh, and the Arco K switches if you tell whoever you purchase it from, they'll put the order from Jassic, they'll fit it before they send it out. Uh, because obviously they're reluctant to send this board out afterwards because who knows who fits it. I mean, I'm lucky enough, um, by trade, I'm a, I am an electronics engineer. Now, when I fitted the board, I had to take photos and everything else and obviously email it back to Jassic to make sure that it was fit for warranty and blah, blah, blah. There was, it, it was a, a bit of a, a rigmarole. But obviously it were quite nice of them that they did trust me to do that. Now, I can understand that there's a lot of people that can't do that. And if they do make a balls up and you connect it to the wrong connector, your warranty's gone. Now, obviously on a 1,200 quid machine, it's a bit of a risk. So just to let you know, moving forward, is them connections now, there's not a board kit that you can fit. It, it must be purchased um, or ordered at the time of purchase. Now, if you've probably currently got a Jassic machine and you wish to do these, I think Jassic will do it. Um, obviously, you probably send it into Jassic, they'd charge you, and obviously they'd fit it and send it back. So all is not lost. Yeah, I'm sure they'll do it. But just just to make a note, you just you can't go to a welding shop and order that kit uh, for the Jassic 45. It it obviously doesn't work. They've put that in the manual. They've updated it, which which obviously quite rightly so because that was a grey area uh, many moons ago when I did when I did mine so I've had a lot of emails saying oh there's no kit that's that's obviously that's obviously why so that's that's the update on that Jassic 45 any questions obviously give us a bell um, and I'll get back to you cheers guys